Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill, and this is Roadkill Ranch on No Man's Land by Alien Jim, Episode 4. We are nearing the end of Day 2 of winter. We are loading up silage bales. There's a pretty good price right now and it's climbing so we're gonna get ready to sell this is not the piece of equipment to be using for loading silage bales Finally, it's not pretty, but it'll make it there. Silage bales are all sold. Now we need to unload the trailer. We just purchased a whole trailer load of manure for our greenhouse. Yes, we got rid of that horse corral. The horses were glitching and sticking and I had to keep unloading them and putting them back and just was not happy with it so it's gone. We put in a money maker. Little tomato garden. There we go, trailer is unloaded, but don't worry about the horses because we have a new pasture. We got the horse corral over here now. Eight horses, all ridden and ready for the next day. And it snowed overnight. We have white stuff on the ground. Looks like Christmas here. I came to the garden center to get some water. That is the nearest place for us at the moment. And now we can give our horses a drink. With the horses watered and fed, it is time for us to go back to the hill we have mowed and baled grass and we need to get them wrapped to make more silage bales I started wrapping last night and it was just too hard to see so I put off wrapping until today I'm sure the bales are starting to degrade because of the wet from the snow. So we've got to get them wrapped as soon as possible. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. 
it is way too slippery with the snow. I have this little feeling in the back of my head that this is not the right thing to do. But I'm going to attempt to push my tractor sideways and then hopefully drive them both out along the edge. Okay, here we go. No, 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 no. I slid sideways. And this little guy doesn't have any traction to do anything. And yes, I had to reset them both. Note to self, stay away from the edge of the hill. Let's see if we can get some of these wrapped before they decay too much. I did not repair my tractor, just in case I slide down the hill again. Let's see, where's the wrapper at? There it is. Oh, no, I left it down there. Oh, this doesn't look good. And I'm already stuck and committed to going down the hill. I'm going to slide right into the wall. Hey, I'm doing it. All right, that wasn't too bad at all. Now, just stay away from the steep slopes at the edge. I better put the bales up here on the top of the hill so I don't have to drive all the way down there with a trailer. No! Oh, man. Not again. I have got to get these bales wrapped or they're going to disappear. So I'm going to stay away from all edges, all slopes that will slam me into the side of the map. And now it is starting to snow on us again. We got most of the bales down the bottom of the hill done. There's a few on the slope that we can't reach. And we're going to try and get these on the top of the... Hello, Gizmo. Try and get these on the top of the hill without sliding back down to the bottom. I think those on the edge are too close.
We have as many bales wrapped and put away as we're going to get until this snow disappears. So, off to pick up our skid steer. Well, that is just fitting. We're talking about him getting stuck, and I'm typing, and now I'm stuck. Oh, here he comes. One last try. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here we go. Hey, hey. That was nice of him to come help me. What is this? I noticed this little exclamation point when I was doing my water before. Oh, I can hook it up to have a valve. I think I like that idea. We'll give that a try. It has been 24 hours and we still have barricades up. The pipe is over here. But if I come over here and try and use it, we still have one hour to go. These guys work slow. Holy cow. Hey, it finally works. Looky there. No more hauling water in the trailer over here. Well, I figured we better come over here and check on our tomatoes since it's cold and snowy outside. Ooh, it's nice and toasty in here. That sunlight coming in is keeping this area nice and warm. That's good. That way the tomatoes can give us a income throughout the winter. I decided since that tomato greenhouse is working so well, this is a perfect spot to put another one. It should fit right in there. I don't want the trees to be poking through the glass, so... That ought to work. Double our income now. As soon as I get it filled up...
Oops, forgot it was a little slippery there. Oh yeah, I put in a water tower next to our windmill here. I've never seen that before. Did you see the water trailer go up as it emptied? It is the next day and the snow's gone. So we brought down all of our mowing equipment and we're going to go pick up bales. We did lose anything that we had not wrapped yet because too many days in the snow. That hill is just too steep. Well, we got quite a few bales out of here. I don't remember what the counter said. 400 and something, I believe. This hill is just too steep. I do believe we're going to have a new tractor in our future. Something with more horsepower. Yeah, all these bales that were along the side here disappeared. And now we can drive down the steep slopes and it doesn't matter. Alright, well, I am going to get all of these bales picked up and take them up to the house. So we placed down a new building. One we can store our silage bales into. And I've got it snuggled up nice and close to the hay storage shed. And you unload and they automatically stack. And I like it. So, that's just a few. I think this was the third trip, maybe the fourth, but we have quite a few left to go get, so I'll get back to it. And the bales are all put away, and looky what I have done to the hill. Since we had all the grass mowed, I have plowed up all of the weedy grass and now we can fertilize and plant grass and maybe get three times the yield I hope oh and yeah we've got a new tractor We've got more horsepower to do work, so that's a good thing. I had started to cultivate, and it dawned on me, brand new plowed ground needs lime. So I stopped what I was doing and went and got a wagon full of lime. We'll see how far this gets us. This is way too narrow. Okay, we have a brand new shiny red fertilizer spreader. And it is still hard to get up this hill. OK, 
carrying all this weight but can you imagine me trying to get this trailer up this hill with the old tractor oh no way still love this view I think I can I think I can I think I can oh
So that was me making a new field up on top of the hill. A little bit longer of a time-lapse music interlude. Hope you liked it. We are feeding our horses at the moment. I need to clean up the yard again. Can't get around. And this skid steer got to be real careful or it just jerks around and flips the bale out. Oops, I forgot. We need to get a hay bale as well. I get to use my new hay bale dispenser. Put it down, back up, go forward, grab it, and it's the same leaders. The horses are broken in seasons. Now I will set this bale here, and when I come back to get it, it will be gone. Okay, now we need to fill up our tomato gardens. I think I still have a full wagon of manure. Yes, I do. And... I have to set it on tip and back. There we go. Fill this one up. the rest to this one. After thoroughly cleaning the trailer, I filled it with some oats to give to the horses. And we'll put the rest back into the silo. Oh yeah, did I mention I bought a small BGA and put it right there between the silo and the sheep. We're going to use that to put our silage into once it gets fermented and ready to go. And every time I fill up the tomato gardens and we get some extra manure I dump it in there and we get a little money off of that as well. The video file has been corrupted and I cannot save it. So this is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching.